Hello and very warm welcome to Rare Films. This is Farooq Hossain. In this hands-on video tutorial, we will learn how we can download and install Koha 23 on Ubuntu 22 with multiple instances. So let's start with this video. Here I have devised a guide that will help us during the installation process. So let me open this. So at the very first step, we need to update, upgrade and clean our Ubuntu system. So let me open my terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt T and the activate the admin mode by writing sudo su and the password of my system and uh, and and that. let me bigger this size so you can see this okay. <clears throat> so update upgrade and clean and yes Okay, press Y for yes. Okay, it has done. Now let me clear this. And this second step is to add Koha repository for the stable version on your Ubuntu system. So here we have some Debian packages for the stable version. If you are going to install old repository, old version of Koha, then you need to mention the version here. Okay. Let me select this and copy. Paste, enter. After this, we are going to add the key, and that will tell us uh, our Ubuntu system that this app is secure and trusted. So we will not get any warning during the installation process. copy paste okay and now we need to update once again and 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 it's time to install koha so the latest release of koha i mean download and install koha latest release so let me copy this command and here let me clear this so sudo apt install koha common and let start now so it might take long time depend on the speed of your internet so it has started 1% as you can see maybe so let me pause my video here and i'll just come back when it may complete okay now let's see what happened so it has done okay 
you can see the process take long 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 okay. all the packages are now installed uh, downloaded and installed okay so let's move on okay okay now let's move on i have uh, cleared the screen and now we are at the step number six so we have completed the download and installation of the latest koha release and now few more steps so we need to configure this file it's called koha site dot configuration file and this file is available in etc koha and koha directory yes so etc is one of the directory and then koha directory and then this file is available there so we are going to open this file to configure gedit is actually the editor of koha you can use nano or any other editor if you want to but gedit is okay quite good so let me copy this file i mean the command and paste here and there we need to work on the intra port so for staff interface I would use 8001 for a pack I will use 8000 and save this and close this okay now we need to enable Apache modules so Koha actually create command to write out Apache configuration files which required enabling both mode rewrite and CGI so we are going to enable both of them then one by one clear this and 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 then after this CDI and start restart Apache. So it has done step number seven and now we are at step number eight. So we are going to install the MySQL server, MySQL server. In Ubuntu, I prefer to use uh, MySQL. In Debian, I would say to use MariaDB. Okay, so this command will install the MySQL server. It say to do app get install mysql server or just app get install mysql server my sql server actually but we call it sql so it might not take long time but uh, let's see i think we can wait here okay so it has done we are now after this we are going to create the koha instances uh koha main database is called instance so here we are going to install multiple instances one two three so one by one This will say sudo koha create create database that's name is library so you can change the name 
any other name will work so now it's okay and okay so it says starting boho worker do demon for library one and indexing demon for library one okay now the same command for instance two and three one two and three After this, step number nine, step ten actually, we need to configure Apache port. For user interface and go back. Okay. So I just copy this and let me clear this first. Paste here. So gedit is the editor and etc is the directory. In etc directory we have Apache directory and in Apache directory we have ports dot configuration file. So we are going to add more ports here. One instance need two ports. So here we are going to add. Uh, six ports, so eight thousand. Listen, eight thousand one. Okay, so eight thousand, eight thousand one, two, three, four, and five. Save this, close this. Okay, so we have added all five, six ports there. And we need to restart Apache. Okay, after the restart, I need to enable another module. And also enable site one, I mean library one, library two, library three. Copy. Based. say already enabled but we need to make sure library 2 and library 3 okay Restart Apache service once again. Okay, now it's time to enable ports for Koha multiple instances. And we will open this file. Let me show you for instance two and instance three. Here in sudo gedit etc in etc folder we have Apache two folder and there we have sites available. And we are going to open this file. This is for instance two. It's library two dot co and f that is configuration. Enter. And we need to provide the opac port here for second instance and the intra port for the second instance. So let us check our document. So, okay. Instance 2 OPAC will use 8002. And 
intra port that is a staff interface will use 8003 save this if you have a, a, a real IP so you can configure here now close this and library instance 3 so the virtual port for staff interface Eight thousand four for a pack and eight thousand five for staff interface. Eight thousand four and eight thousand five. Save this. And now it's just check. The password for the instance one two and three and we need to work on the web installer and onboarding tool one by one so let me check the password to log in there remember this password is different uh, to your uh, your your super librarian password it must uh, your super librarian password must be different from this password so let me copy this I need to close this file as well. Clear this and paste this. Let us check the password and copy this. And, and, and. save here. Okay. Enter. and paste here you can copy this paste here And this is for password copy paste now save this okay now let us complete the step number 13 that is web installer and onboarding tool so we need to open our web browser And there we need to put the localhost address that is 127001 and the port. There we need to remember which port is for staff interface. So 8001, 3 and 5 for staff interface and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we will configure the staff interface one first. I mean the library one first and then go on.
so this is the web installer for koha 23.05 right now and there we need to write the koha a uh, master password that is called the koha instance password and this password is not actually uh, the same password for your uh, koha login like super library password this is different than koha super library password okay so what password there we have copy this one let me exit this and now let's say koha underscore library one and then the password so you can save this and these steps we need to complete we need to choose the language which is by default English and the Perl dependencies, database settings, setup database, install basic configuration setting and onboarding. So let's start now. Continue to the next step. Okay, it has done. So you can see the green screen now. I mean green. Uh, indication check sign and it's now going to check the Perl dependencies okay database setting okay connection established okay continue to the next step set up database Continue to the next step. Install basic configuration setting. Okay, now you need to select your mark flavor, either Unimark or Mark 21. So we are going with Mark 21. So you can read the description here about Unimark and Mark 21. Mark 21 is actually globally used, so that's why we are selecting. And here we have some mandatory things. To select and sub optional things okay so 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 I think let us go with select all and we can modify all of them after some time Okay, import. Okay. So it has all done. created type SQL that we need to mention somewhere now set up some of the basic requirement it will ask you the password and uh, name you need to provide your name For example my name is Pimps and Pimps okay I can say my name Hard number zero 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 one, and this is actually the library, uh, sample library, and you need to use some other password, not this one. This password is actually the password of your Koha instance, and here whatever the password you will 
I mean, the credential you will select the username and the password. That must be different from this. Not Koha underscore anything. You can use like Farooq dot Hussain or anything or your card number or whatever. But not, do not use this Koha underscore library one or library two or library three. Here. This password must be different from your uh, Koha instance password. So I'm going to use Farooq dot Hussain one and. Uh, Save this. And this is for the circulation rules. So you can define here or you can uh, modify this later on. The number of videos available on my channel about how you actually work on OHA administration. So it has done. So we can start using OHA for instance one. And we have instance two as well. Save. So we can log in this for the very first time. Now, so now you can see this is OHA 23.05 and now we are going to work or on second instance that is available on one two in fact we can check the OPAC of this one okay so OPAC is here staff interface and the OPAC okay now let's start working our second instance that is available at one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one colon eight thousand uh one or two three. i think three you can make it show from here yes eight thousand three okay so this is the web installer for library two and uh, if you might receive an apache error here so you need to uh, default you need to disable the default site i'll give the link uh, I i'll actually And uh, okay, now it's a. Uh, this is a. Uh, okay, now let's. Uh, okay. Okay, now let's work on our second instance that is available at one two seven. Dot zero dot zero dot one colon eight thousand. Let me see. Here. See, eight thousand three. Okay. So here we have web installer for our instance two, and if you might receive an Apache error, so you can disable the default site. So I'll just uh, add the command in the. Uh, installation guide so I'll, I'll add that command okay now let us log in with koha underscore library 2 and we need to check the password here that we have saved copy And login. You can save this. The similar thing we need to perform here. Okay. Meanwhile, let us continue for the three. Uh, I think it's five.
This time I actually import selected uh, options on all the uh, optional things. Library code. Because I have not selected the option, so now I have to fill the details here. This is a pattern category here. Create a Koha administrator. Again, I can go with my name. Card number. This must be some different. Item type Okay, done. So we have one instance here and that is available on 8001. The second instance is here, it's available on 8003. And let us continue for instance 3. And that's available on 8005. Again, we need to configure the same thing. If you would like to see the repeat, if you would like to like me to repeat the same, so I can continue, but uh, I think it's not required here. So thank you very much for watching Raflims. Let me open this uh, pack of our second instance that's available on 8004. I think that's not available 8004, but it's available on 8003. I think it's available on 8002. Yes. This one is available 8000 and this one is available 8001, 8003 and 8000. And here is 8005 and 8004. It might take time. Again, we need to repeat the process. So thank you very much for watching Raflims. This is Swaro Hussain. We have successfully installed the Koha 23.05 on Ubuntu 22.04 with multiple instances. Here we have add three instances. So I'll continue with this. Oh, and you keep watching Raflims. Thank you very much.